kitchen has always been the center of my world because life is more delicious when it's full of food and fun. <laughs> Everybody knows me as a culinary expert and food judge on television, but also I'm just a mom trying to get dinner on the table. From Hollywood to home, I bring Southern sweet and Caribbean heat, and I'm not afraid to stir the pot. Good food, good friends, good dish. your new go-to for how-to, where we elevate everyday foods and put new twists on what you crave the most. Plus, we're gonna take on the biggest trends straight from your feed. And of course, we're gonna have tons of fun every single day. Now look, I've been sharing my passion for cooking and family with you on TV and on my Instagram for years. And honestly, being here on this set with you guys, it feels like coming home. And I am so glad you guys are here with us at the table and can't wait to dig into all this deliciousness together. Ah, oh, we're having a moment. I'm not gonna get emotional about this. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's a moment. A long yes. time. Oh my making. gosh, because let me tell you, years ago when I was a caterer to the stars, as they say, and competing to be on a food star on TV, I mean, that was so long ago, but I could see this moment. I could feel it and hallelujah, it is here. Woo! Yes. All right. So on The Good Dish, we'll be dishing on the latest food trends and chatting with your favorite celebrities to find out what they're like at home in their kitchen. Well, I've been cooking and eating food from the very best chefs all over the world and on Bravo's Top Chef for years. But here, we'll be elevating your dishes and looking for shortcuts to make your life easier. And of course, we'll be answering the most important question of the day, what is for dinner? <laughs> and it is a good day here at The Good Dish because it's our big bacon show. I think I can hear it sizzling already. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's the noise. Is there a more beautiful noise in the kitchen? That is just like, you know it's gonna be good when there's something with bacon happening. Tonight, mm -hmm. bacon wrapped dinner two ways is coming your way, including a creamed spinach stuffed bacon wrapped chicken breast uh -huh. that will have your family begging for seconds. Also, look at how beautiful that is. I'm, that makes you look like a kitchen star. I love that. <laughs> ha, <I> like that. <laughs> That's what we do here. I know, yes. make it look good, make it taste good. That's all we care about. <laughs> but first, I have to ask, don't you hate when you bite into a BLT and all you get is the L and the T? Oh, it's robbery. like where is the B, all right? So today we've got tricks to show you how to get bacon in every bite. The B is back. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> back God. in full effect. And will you take a look at this gorgeous Guys. specimen? And I don't mean Daphne. I mean the sandwich. <laughs> Both. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is epic. It is beautiful. It's an air fried bacon weave oh. square on a BLT stacked to the gods. Look at this. <laughs> Huge, the best right? party platter I've ever seen in my life. It's <laughs> it's right. That, like it is delicious, and it's better for you because we put it in the air fryer. And I'm going to show you how it's done. All right, very simple. So you'll have your strips of bacon here, and you, it's just a weaving pattern. It's more a mind thing. You just got to concentrate to make sure that you have your your pattern going. Okay. So you'll lay out three strips vertically. You'll place pull two back, and you'll place this one down here. Then you'll go in, raise up your center place another strip in the middle, and then bring this back, and then bring these two up. You kind of get where it's going. Yes. Mm -hmm. Once you get the rhythm, you're fully in the game, right? And if you want to have it easier to pick it up, I'd suggest maybe some parchment paper, something kind of ease it into your air fryer. And it's really quick and easy, 10 minutes in the air fryer. Done. Like, Done. And you'll just check it throughout. Make sure you keep an eye on it. Just kind of flip it every few moments, and then you'll come out with, come on, girlfriend. Can we see how beautiful a bacon weave? Oh, Look at that. Start your day with a bacon tapestry. There you <laughs> go, right? It is beautiful. You don't need any bread. You just take that right, right there. Um, is this your new favorite weave? It's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Weaves in more ways than one, yes. <laughs> what is it about bacon that everyone is so obsessed with? Like, it never goes out of style. No, it's the universal smell, I think. Like, everyone can identify it immediately, and it has you sniffing and salivating like a little puppy. Let's, and just mouth drool it every time. It's true. It's like this salty, fatty, perfect. Perfect combo of delicious. Oh, yes. And the, the fat and the salt goes a really long way. My mom's been vegetarian since she was 13, and she says the one thing she desperately misses, there is no substitute for, is bacon. Mm. Yeah. But I think we should play a little game to find out all the things bacon goes perfectly with, and we are going to call it 
six degrees of making bacon. Woo! Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Such a good guy. Look at that. <laughs> you know, this is fun because this is just a few of the many perfect pairings that bacon can be used for. And you can use bacon to make any recipe better, but here are some of the categories I love. First up, bacon makes seafood better. It definitely does. I feel like it naturally enhances that mild fish and shellfish flavor. It makes it smoky. It gives it that savory taste from the cured pork. Yes, that salt and that fat goes a long way, especially because uh, seafood tends to be pretty lean. So getting mm -hmm. that fattiness from the bacon really helps. All right. What else can we make bacon with? We can make it with apple. Um, uh -huh. This, like pork chops and applesauce, obviously the classic, but bacon and apples one other combo that I've really gotten into is a bacon apple pie. You can actually use mm -hmm. the, re the rendered bacon fat in yes. the pie crust. Get that flavor coming through two ways. It is sinfully delicious. And there's that thing about the tartness of an apple, oh, the crunch and tartness with that, again, salt and fat. It's just a match made in heaven, right? Love that. Right, next time you bake one, call me. All right. <laughs> I know, I'll just send it your way. <laughs> sure. All right, how about some maple? Absolutely. Mm, nice. That ooey, gooey, sticky, sweet quality um, gives bacon, of course, a new texture, and it helps bacon stick to a pork loin. You could, we could, I know we're doing those wrapped chicken breasts later in the show. If we wanted to put some maple syrup uh -oh. on there, it would be kind of amazing. This is my favorite way to enjoy salted pork product. And yes, it's a little Ooh. bit healthy. Collard greens, yeah. classic. Uh, classic. Southern staple. Yes. Again, you're taking something lean and light and giving it smoky, fatty, salty deliciousness mm -hmm. with bacon. It, it brings so much flavor. It brings so much depth. It makes something really healthy. Feel indulgent. I absolutely love that combination. All right, this is an Elvis classic. Peanut butter. Oh, no. I know. You know, people thought this sounded crazy, but for me, the idea of Elvis's favorite sandwich, fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, Sounds delightful. <laughs> genius, genius moves. And if you are a sweet person, sugar on your bacon. Why not? Bacon works well in baking. And Gail, you actually have a great way to prove just that. Remember that cronut phase? I mean, we're all still in it. The cronut yes. was created and it took the world by storm yes. uh, for many good reasons. Well, there's a bacon fight baconified version of it. What? And people are kind of pigging out on it. Oh, <laughs> let me show it to you. Let me see this. What? Here in New York, <gasps> no the way. Donut Hub oh, wow. has infused bacon into their version of the dessert. It's wild. <laughs> Come on. So this is a heart attack. Wait, I mean, that. the amazing thing oh, is that yes. it's bacon and maple. You can smell both. It kind of in case, permeates the whole room. In oh, case you my. missed the cronut phase, I just need to tell you, it's these tiny layers that you find in a croissant, okay. paired with bacon, paired with donut, All right. paired with delicious. It changed the world. Whoever, we will never be the same. Mm. Whoever did this, like, give them my number. We need to mm. be best friends. What in the heck? Mm. What yeah. in the what? <laughs> if my children knew I did this, this is work. This is work. This is, work. <laughs> this is a problem. RMG. <laughs> I'm going to wow. keep eating this. When we come back, it's a bacon wrap dinner two ways. Stick around. So good. Like something you saw on the show today? We're dishing all the details on the good list. All the recipes, important tips, and tricks, all in one place. So stay tuned until the end of the show when we'll share the good list QR code. You can scan to send it all right to your phone.